So, I am here with Ted Macy. Yay, the creator of two of my favorite female characters, Polly and the Pirates and Courtney Crumrin, whom I adore. And you did the illustrations for The Good Neighbors with Holly Black. I did. Which I also like a lot and which is wonderful for teens. So, now that the intro nonsense is out of the way, how did you get started working in comics? Um, well, I, uh, I'm afraid I wasn't doing all that well in school because I kept drawing. Um, and at some point, uh, like around, this was in 86, I was 14, 15, somewhere in there, uh, and the Dark Knight Returns comic books came out, and I was just entranced by the idea of, not comics for grown-ups, because obviously I wasn't a grown-up, but comics that were mature and were kind of character-driven rather than goofy plot of the week dream because I always some I didn't even know it at the time I didn't have a word for it at the time but character driven stories were what compelled me whereas plot of the week driven stories just didn't hold my attention very much and so there was something about like looking into the this character that I had always known about but had not really understood who he was you know of course I grew up on the, uh, the television series in the 60s that was really goofy and you don't really get to know characters and so this you got to got to know the character and I felt compelled telling stories with drawings that really go deep into who these characters are that is appealing to me that that is what I yeah, that's something really neat that I feel that I need to do, that I really want to do. Fantastic. So question number two, and you've kind of answered it already. Mm -hmm. um, you read comics when you were a kid. Yes. Uh, who were some of your biggest influences? Well, you know, I was, a, you know, obviously Dark Knight was a big book that was very, you know, I, it was impressed me, and so I became a big fan of Frank Miller, who sure. was the author. Um, but I also really liked, I, and of course Alan Moore came along, and I really liked what he was doing too. Didn't understand half of what he was doing, but I know, you know, I think there, you know, you should, I don't, I was never afraid of stuff that I didn't understand, because I knew that I would puzzle it out eventually. And I don't think that it's good to write, to dumb down stories for kids to the level that they can understand, because, you know, you end up making your kids dumber. Uh, you know, and and I I definitely found that the smarter the story that was aimed at, if it was aimed at me, but made really, but it was made really complex and interesting and sophisticated, I liked it better. Even like I remember in Star Wars, Star Wars had like a political subtext, and that started getting shedded as Empire and Jedi came along. And I found that even as a little kid, I missed it. It's like, what about this whole world that they're, you know, it became yeah. less about the world building and more about, like, this really kind of simplistic kissing. melodrama and yeah. kissing and all that stuff. And I wanted to know, even if I didn't understand it, I wanted to know that this was happening in a real world with real political um, dynamics. Because right. even if I didn't understand them, I knew that that meant that the world was real. Right. And that was interesting to me. Even at age seven, that was hard. All right. Ready for the next one? Yeah. What are you currently working on? Uh, well, right now I'm working on the uh, sequel to um, Courtney Crumrin. It's the next volume. It's volume five. Okay. Um, and that, I just finished the script, and it's really, oh, it's really sad and heartbreaking and, and scary and awesome and funny. Oh, excellent. I think. And hopefully people will like it. Yes, very um, good. I'm also uh, uh, just finishing up the uh, uh, lettering script for Polly and the Pirates Volume 2, which was illustrated not by me, but by Robbie Rodriguez, yeah. um, who's fantastic and did an amazing job, and that is going to be out at some point either late this year or early next year. Oh, that's wonderful. Man. And so Courtney, uh, Courtney Volume 5, Polly Volume 2. Polly and the Pirates, the, the second volume, is also going to be hilarious, heartbreaking, and cute as button. Perfect. As far as I can do. <laughs> you know, in, in as much as you take my word. Yes, I'm on board. Okay, great. All right. Number four is, what graphic novel or comics title have you read in the past year that you would recommend for teens or for kids? Mouse Guard. Mouse Guard. Mouse Guard. I love Mouse Guard. Love Mouse Guard. Um, it is... Super cute, but it's not trying to be cute. It's, it, I love that it's it's an epic, grand, dark, 
somber but beautiful adventure about tiny little nieces with little tiny swords that are in this bag. It's so cute. Oh, I can't stand it. It's so cute. Yeah. yeah. And I love, and like, I had a big talk with um, uh, David Peterson, who's the author, about like, you know, he did, was determined, you know, you don't, if you have, if it's about mice, you don't need to make it cute. It's just going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Don't force it. And so he doesn't force it. And it just, he lets, he tells the story he wants to tell. And then it's just the juxtaposition of the cuteness with the grandeur is so cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's one of my favorites, too. All right. Last question. Yes. Is, if you, this is the librarian one. If you were stuck on a desert island, and you can assume that you're going to be rescued, you don't need to bring a how-to book with you. Yeah. So what one book would you bring with you? And it doesn't need to be a comic. It can be any book at all. So what would I bring with me if I knew I was going to be bored for the next two weeks? Right. Gosh, I you know something I've never read before. All right. Um, Do you I, have like a to-be-read pile at home? Do I have a to-be-read pile at home? It's so long, I can't even, like, I think Water for Elephants is the next thing on my, so I would probably, and everybody says it's great, so either Water for Elephants, or, uh, um, new new series. The Dog in the Nighttime. Yep. Oh, which I I've love heard that. is yes. really good, it's and really I haven't good. read it yet, and I've heard it's really good. It's very good. Or, you know, the collected work, the collected short stories of Dashiell Hammond. Oh, that's a good choice, know, too. Which I haven't, I've started, but I haven't finished, you know. Yeah. Well, these are the things that make me know that you're from the Bay Area, you know. Oh, yeah. Dashiell Hammond. Dashiell Hammond. There you go. Thank you so much, Ted. I really appreciate it. Thank you.